What's going on, everybody? I'm out here, and I have been running the hell out of the new OM Tech Pro. But every once in a while, you need to do a good cleaning. And right now, I want to show you the laser head assembly, the lens holder, and how to clean it. So let's jump into it now. All right, so when we get in close and we look at this laser head, you can see it, it's definitely much taller than uh, previous versions um, and definitely stout. They've changed things because you used to have a lens that would slide down and out. Um, right now, you've got these little thumb screws right here. You pull these thumb screws out and this actually slides out. Um, then down here below, this is the whole nozzle assembly. So if we get down lower, this is where the air actually comes out and the beam actually shoots through. So this can actually unscrew and then this whole body can actually come off here. Um, and for this specific machine, it has a different nozzle assembly that goes here for when it's doing metal cutting. So I'll show you all of that. We'll get in here, let's pull this out, um, show you the lenses. And if you can see it on here, there's a spot and it's actually marked on here. It's kind of shiny, so it's hard to show on the camera, but there's a 2.5 and then a four inch. So there's actually two spots to hold lenses in here. So let's go ahead and let's pull this out and take a closer look. All right, so one of the nice things is that the, the lenses and all that is actually independent from your airline. Um, on the other machines, you'd always have to take the airline off and then take the lens down, unscrew the nozzle. This, literally it's these thumb screws. I'm gonna go slow so I don't drop them down in the bed. Let's put that there. And that one there. So now with those two out, you just grab onto this and it slides right out. And I'll get closer, but you'll be able to see that there is a little bushing on top and bottom to make it a really snug fit. All right, so if you look here, you can see like this plastic bushing here. This is actually, it's got like a little bit of a spring to it. So as you push it into the housing there, it makes it so it's a nice tight fit. Um, same thing on the bottom, you've got this right here. Um, and you can even see like, looks like my lens, it's getting a little foggy, a little dirty. So we need to clean that, um, but there you go. That's, that's how that's held in there. And then you got the same thing, this retaining ring, which is very similar to previous models. You take this retaining ring off, the lens will fall out. And then if you had a four inch, you could put it on the top here, put it, drop it in, and then put the retaining ring on the top. So you'll see how that looks. So there's your two and a half, here's the four. So four goes in here from the top down, retaining ring on top, two goes in here from the bottom up, retaining ring going on top. So either way, when you put the lens in, you want the flat side facing down towards the bed. So that way you have the lens oriented correctly. The dome side actually receives the laser beam and then the flat side faces the bed. So. Let's go ahead, I'll just take this ring out and get this cleaned. All right, so you can see here, I'm just using this little tool. Um, I don't know if this is gonna come on all the machines. I know I've seen it in some of the the newer models of the, the, the normal line. Um, but yeah, it, it's the perfect size to fit right into these grooves. And then you can just, oh, once you get it in there, you can just turn it and pull that out. So I'll finish doing that. And this is already a little bit loose. And then we'll just dump this out and we'll get it cleaned. Um, do point out that there's, there's a little like silicone um, washer that sits on there. And that's for the, the actual retaining ring to push against rather than pushing on the lens, um, just to make sure you're not scratching it. It does make for a tighter fit. So you have to, to tighten it down a little bit more. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, I know I've seen in some of the videos from American Photonics, if you put too much pressure on the lens, it starts to create um, varying effects because of the pressure that it puts and it kind of distorts the, the beam from the lens. So I haven't seen any issues yet, um, but yeah, that goes in there as well. 
<clears throat> so I'm just going to clean with some uh, isopropyl alcohol. This one says 70. I actually just kept the bottle. It's a 99. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and use this on my microfiber towel. It's nice and clean. I'll go ahead and just a quick wipe down because I don't get it super dirty before I clean it again. And then I find a nice dry spot and I wipe that off as well. So, um, a lot of people use gloves. I'm not that careful, um, but there's my lens now nice and clean. You can see that spot that I did have on the back is gone. And we'll go ahead and throw this back in. <clears throat> Paying attention to the 2.5 side, that's where it needs to go. So I'm going to take this, there's a 2.5, flip it upside down because that's where the lens goes. And then I've got my dome side right here. That's going to go down. So that way when it turns up, the flat side is facing the bottom. Okay, so now that drops in there. It has a pretty good fit. So that way it just sits in there. Uh, and now we'll go ahead and we'll take this silicone ring. Drop this on top of that so it fits in there nice. And we'll take our retaining ring and just get this started. Sometimes you have to walk it back so it hits the threads right. There it goes. You can just like feel it click in. So got that in. Now we'll use our little tool, start tightening it up. And like I said, it is, it does make for a tight fit with that little silicone washer. Um, but if this, if that ring is sitting up too high, it impedes going back into the head. So now let's get, just give it a check. Um, make sure it's tight enough. Should be able to just, I kind of set the bottom piece in there and then work the top in and then it should slide right in there just like that. And it is a pretty good snug fit. Um, there is like even a zoom back in. There's like a little seal here. So you can see like a little silicone bead right around that edge. And so it seals pretty good. It keeps the air from coming out this way and it all goes down. Um, but there you go. So now just reverse operations. I usually go and just make sure that I've got one of these threaded because it has threads on here. And it also has threads inside of the head. So I just make sure that they're threading nice one at a time. And once this one I can see has gone in, I give this other one a start and they're both headed in. So, all right, and there we go. So that, that's taking the actual lenses out, getting them cleaned, doing that kind of stuff. Um, you can leave the lens just in the holder and clean it with a Q-tip in alcohol or like a lint-free Q-tip. I like to just get it out because after I've done that a couple of times, around the edge of the lens can still get dirty. And so it's nice to have just a nice, fresh, clean lens. So now let's look at this actual laser nozzle down here. So this, and I'll zoom back in. So this part right here actually comes off. And this is the nozzle, so it actually the part that has the hole. So, whoop, and there we go. So that's the nozzle. You've got your airline here. And then this obviously is able to turn and come off as well. Um, <clears throat> now what I want to do is I'm actually going to look at how I remove this. So that way we can put the other nozzle in place for the metal cutting operations. All right, so as we get in looking close at this assembly, there is a spot right back here that has these two screws. They're actually holding this in place. So we're going to go ahead and I'll get those two screws undone, and then we should be able to lower this down. All right, so here are the pieces taken off of the laser head, so it's a little bit easier to see. So this block here actually sits up inside the back part of 
the laser head. So let's slide this back in there so I can show you. So it sits <clears throat> right here. So that sits in there and it plunges in the back of the head. But it is also with these screws or with that holes um, aligns to the back of this nozzle and is screwed to the back there. So those were the screws that I was talking about that we pulled those out. And then I was able to go in and unscrew the whole nozzle, lifting this piece up and out. So that way it would actually screw freely and then unscrews from the bottom here. So now we're going to go and we're gonna take this laser head which is for the metal operations. And this one actually has bolts that go up into it. So flip you up right here, and you'll be able to see that there are some screw holes right there that that screws into. So we're gonna go ahead, get this put in place, and then we'll go to the next step. Uh, just keep in mind that it does have a direction that it needs to go because it needs to connect to this guy. So. This needs to be available, and there is a wire that connects the two. So let's grab that wire and make sure we've got the right length. So here's the wire, and so that, it connects to the bottom here. So we should have plenty of room to just make sure that that's able to connect. Maybe we'll put it at the back of, of the, the laser head, or maybe it goes to the front because I need this the airline over here. So that's probably what we need to do. So point it to the front, airline on the side, and go from there. All right, so we've got this nozzle attached and you can see that there's the, the four screws that go on it. Um, so we put this in this orientation because our airline is over here. So we got that hooked back up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hook up this wire that goes from here over to here. Okay, so there we go. So that wire is hooked up. Um, you can kind of position it out of the way. But yeah, there you go. So that's what that looks like. I'll go ahead and put the um, lens back in. I had just pulled it out just to try and see a little bit better about what was going on and how things are put together. But yeah, so I'll put that back in. Um, and then that should be it as far as changing out the nozzles. And this is ready for... Uh, metal cutting operations and doing calibration. So we'll cover that in the next video. Um, but if you do have any comments, questions, whatever, like throw those down in, in the description or in the, yeah, the comment section. All right. Well, there you have it. That is how you change out the nozzle for the 150 watt hybrid OM tech pro to get ready for the metal cutting operations. We also went over how the lenses are sitting in there, how they're cleaned, all of that stuff. So if you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe, hit the bell so that way you are notified of future videos. Um, and any questions, comments, throw them down below. Uh, I don't have anything else, but thanks for watching and we will see you on the next one.